Hey guys, it's Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to show a quick video about how you can use the T-Mobile Home Internet app to actually show you where your tower is relative to your gateway. So it's a feature that I think has been in the app for a while and maybe I have missed it. I think a lot of other people have as well. It's kind of hidden. It's not perfect, but we'll get into that. So I have the two uh, 5G versions. I'm going to be hooked up to this Arcadian KVD21 one. I'm actually using an Ethernet cable to hook up to it uh, because I turned the Wi-Fi off on those. I have instructions if you want to know how to do that on my channel. But if you've watched my channel for other content, you'll see that I've talked a lot about getting your best signal. And one of them is using cellmapper.net to really pinpoint which tower you're connected to using the CGI number or the cell identifier for your gateway and then looking that up on cell mapper and you know where it's located that's how i've done it before i'll put a link right here for uh, watching that video if you want that but for this one i'm going to use the app and there is no web interface access to this so that's why i had to use this ethernet to uh, USB C. and then let me open up well see this is why i don't use this, the t-mobile home area app a lot it crashes half the time all right, so then I just open it up, and in the past, you know what I said, you go to more, advanced cell metrics, and then here you go, you can get your cell metric information, and you can get your CGI number, which will be um, an indicator of what tower you are on cell mapper. But if you go back to the home, and then at the bottom of your cell connection quality bars, is a more connection information and then there's this launch placement assistant so that's something i didn't know about before um, and in here it'll show you this says that hey there's a short video it's basically just a, a commercial that basically says put your gateway up high you know on a bookshelf or on the second floor you can put it near a window but don't put it in direct sunlight and that's the best way to um you know get you know look at the bars on on it and then that tells you where to place it but um, let's go through here and share a location with it and then we'll see the direction of the strongest signal. All right, so we're not gonna play the video. All right, so there's two ways for you to do it. Share your location or enter an address. Both of them have their faults, but I'm gonna do um, share my address. I don't share it very often. All right, so there it has me and I say, my house is off the road. You know, it's like a thousand feet off of the road. And so my little pinpoint is kind of out in the middle of nowhere on this map. But I say confirm location and it doesn't work. <laughs> so I tried manually entering my address and it still didn't work. It said the exact same thing. Sorry that didn't work. I was like, man, maybe they don't have my area in their database like the little icon or the like the text tells you. But I tried lots of different addresses. Actually couldn't get any of them to work. So I don't know if that was just my, my luck or whatnot. But it kicks you out. Let's go back in. I'm gonna show you how you how I get it to actually work. All right, so let's do this. Skip the video. Share my location again. Now what I do is I drag the map and I just put my pinpoint directly on top of the road, so basically the end of my driveway, and then click confirm, and then it worked. So you know they must have something messed up there where if it's not on a road it doesn't work i don't know maybe you guys will, will tell me in the comments below what what works or doesn't work for you but what you can see here is it shows you know on this screen the top right corner which in this case is northeast from me that's where my tower's at and i was really excited because i was hoping it was going to show me as i moved around um, where that tower exactly is but it doesn't this screen doesn't update the tower when you move it. So you can take your finger and you can move this map. If I do this, but now it doesn't move the actual um, you know tower signal icon they have there in the top right corner. So what it means is it doesn't tell you where your tower is, or so it doesn't give you like a distance away. It just gives you a direction that it's at. It's maybe still helpful. You know, what they're trying to say is you put your gateway on that side of the house that's the closest to it. But honestly, to me, what is most helpful is, you know, on the 5G signals, you don't 
um, often get the cell identifier number and you might have a couple towers around you and maybe you can't even find your 4G cell on uh, cellmapper.net but you can see cell towers around you. This would at least say, hey, your cell tower is to the north of you or it's to the west of you or the east of you. And I think between that and the cell mapper data, you can kind of confirm which tower you're connected to. It's not perfect. I don't find it that helpful for me personally, but it's a little bit helpful and uh, hopefully it helped you out. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you found another way to get this thing to work as far as um, the pinpoint uh, putting you uh, in the right place of your house or if you were able to type in the address manually. And as always, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and I can keep watching. Thanks.